Okay, welcome back everybody to the channel. We um, were looking at all the tiles this week that we had in the showroom and the last couple of projects we worked on, I mean, we just had the coolest um, tiles that we sourced for those projects. So we said, you know, why not create a video for you guys with the top trending tiles for 2024. And I tried to really condense this to like five main categories. And I'm excited to take you guys through this. And we've also have a ton of pictures to kind of visualize it. But we'll have a link below with the actual manufacturer so you can take a look at different colors and the different options that are available for sizing on those tiles. But yes, I am super excited to walk you guys through those top five tile trends for 2024 when it comes to your kitchen or bathroom remodel. And real quick before we get started, I'm Kirsten with The Material Bar, your kitchen and bath showroom in Lakewood, Washington. And yeah, let's jump right into the tile trends. Okay, number one tile trend is terrazzo. And you've probably seen it all over Pinterest, everywhere you're looking for inspiration. And when it comes to terrazzo, there's a couple of different things to kind of remember and think about, okay? So number one, terrazzo is actually the way um, a, a certain tile is made and it's typically a cement tile and when you look at this thickness you can see it's thicker tiles it's a cement tile and then it has chunks of stone chunks of glass in it different things resins that create this patterned look now a lot of these tiles that you're going to see today they do remind us of this entire mid-century modern fun colorful um, poppy overall look and um, so terrazzo is definitely um, right up there this is a tile this tile is actually called true terrazzo by the tile bar and it is called true terrazzo because it is a real terrazzo tile now on the other hand and this comes in like a multitude of colors very cool on the other hand you will have manufacturers um, for example we have surface art and this tile and we keep blending in a couple of the bigger images so you can kind of visualize it, but this tile is called Tazo, and compared to the true Terrazzo, you can see it is actually a porcelain tile that has an image on top, okay? So very different. And you wanna think about those things when it comes to the application where you're using these tiles because you can use them on walls, on you know, in showers, on kitchen backsplashes, or on floor applications. So that's when you want to have a conversation with your designer, with your general contractor, and your installer on which route you should be going. Real thick cement tile, or should I be going more the porcelain route with the image on top? So this is Tazo in white. And again, we will have the links for you guys below. And when it comes to terrazzo tile, a lot of people have these lighter images in mind with a bunch of different colors, but you can also go really dark. There is a collection by Bedrosians. It's called Area 51, and I really love it. And it's kind of hard to tell, but when you look at several tiles of this next to each other, it has a ton of variation from tile to tile. So it creates a really cool pattern and again we have some images for you guys but remember terrazzo tiles you can also think about other colors it doesn't just have to be this white look with bright colors it can also be darker colors or browns and different things like that so number one we love seeing all the different versions of terrazzo tile okay next on the list number two are actual prints that are printed or texturized kind of on the tile but they create a pattern okay so a pattern on the tile and there's a beautiful collection called the wow collection and they have one tile called twister and i'm just obsessed i'm actually using twister on two different projects right now this is twister in the vapor toffee color and then you can get the same tile in base colors and then you can get the pattern printed in different colors here is the same color in mint gray or the same print in mint gray and we have some cool images here on how you can create really fun patterns using this tile to where honestly like your imagination is like you can be unlimited on what you're using in this space but really when we think of a lot of these patterns what we're seeing more and more are actual stripe patterns and it makes you get a little bit of that vintage feel you know, think about the 50s and just bright, fun, poppy colors, but also creating some striped looks. And there is another tile. 
that is right here. Now this is a cement tile. So just be aware of like the different materials you're actually using. This is a cement tile by Zia Tile. Um, I'm going to butcher this. Octotilo Cadmio. I'm totally butchering this, but there's the link in the description below, but it's a super fun tile that has a pattern already printed on the tile. So you can easily install this and not worry about creating the pattern directly on site. With the wow tile, you can be just you know, super creative on how you're actually laying this pattern um, in your project. Um, super fun color here too. And then I'm a real fan of this tile. I'm actually excited to use this next one. My hands are getting super dirty, but I'm excited to use this next one on um, a personal project of mine coming up. It's a 12 by 24 tile and it already has a pattern kind of inlaid in the tile itself. So the tile installer is only worried about laying the 12 by 24. It's not as labor intensive than creating the pattern with the tile itself, okay? It's a 12 by 24, but it has this really fun kind of mid-century feel, um, thin pattern of marble printed on it in the shower that I want to use this in, I'm actually going to run this about five foot tall and then I'm going to stack some dark tile vertically right above it. So super excited about this guy. This guy is called Marmee. I don't know who came up with this name, okay? This one's really fun too. Marmi Machia Vecchia Bricks, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, but again, the link below and if anybody else knows how to pronounce this better, Feel free to give me a call. Let's move on. Okay, so kind of trend number two was like tiles that already have prints on them, okay? But you can also create more pattern with them. But then you can also use just more basic tiles but create a pattern with the tile itself or by laying it out in various types. And what I'm also seeing a lot, and I'm sorry this guy's broken, this was a sample that we've ordered from the tile bar. This is the Cambina tile by the tile bar. It comes in different colors. And this is really fun because once you start installing this, you kind of create this really beautiful fluted look. Now this is a flat tile, but you kind of create this fluted look just by having very long narrow tiles. And recently going on Pinterest, I've been seeing a lot more of the thin kind of patterns and like I said, kind of lines and different things like that. So that's definitely a really cool tile that they came out with. And it also reminds me again of this whole like mid-century kind of vibe that's been happening right now. Number three, what you can also do is create patterns with the tile by using different tile sizes, but you kind of keep it monotone, like throughout like the same kind of color and texture and everything, but you're creating a layout using the tile and a really beautiful tile which i'm also going to be using very soon on a project and i've already did actually actually we can find the original picture that we used um where we used this tile on is this tile and this is um province by surface art and this is in the color bianco so it comes in a couple of different colors but what's more important is this tile comes in a lot of different sizes and here's an example image of how you can use this tile and kind of create this old world kind of Italian outdoor feel on the inside if you're using it, for example, in a bathroom floor or something like that. So just utilizing different sizes on the floor. If your space allows for it, you do want to have a little bit more room to create a look like this, but it's a really cool look and kind of like takes your eye around and it creates a lot of interest, okay? so. And the next on the list, I think we are at number four, is textured tile. And here's a tile that's my absolute favorite. And quite frankly, the other three colors of this tile are not in our showroom because they've been at my house because I just keep staring at them. I want to use them myself. But this tile is by Emser Tile. And it is a four by nine. I'm kind of going to show this to you guys sideways because you can really see like the fluted detail on here. But it's a textured tile. It is called, there's no sticker on the back, but I looked it up. It's um, Pagoni Piano, and Piano is the version with the flutes on the front. It's a four by nine tile. And as you can see in the inspiration pictures, it creates a really, really stunning kind of backdrop. 
Again, you can use it, it's a polished tile. You could use this anywhere pretty much in your house and simply wipe it down, but it creates a lot of interest wherever you install this. So definitely think about and then last but not least, we're seeing a ton of terracotta. So definitely think about terracotta colors um, in the form of tiles using in your next design or project or remodel that you're working on. And you can include terracotta features in any kind of shape and size. This is a beautiful terracotta color um, by Bedrosians. This is the two inch Makoto round tile. This comes on a mesh super popular for things like bathroom floors or shower floors or just like interest points like niches and you can get this in different styles so you can also get this in different colors but you can also get this in different tile sizes so you could create a really cool pattern kind of create this um this tone on tone look and just using different tile sizes but i absolutely love the two inch round it's just very unique um, love that terracotta tone and then here is another uh, terracotta tile this one is by surface art and this one is called oasis this is a two well it's a 12 by 24 in the color cliff which is just a beautiful kind of um, I would call this like basic color that you can incorporate as a base in, in your design with a lot of different, maybe, you know, more poppy colors or, but definitely kind of incorporate that terracotta look into your project. So we will have this link below too. And Courtney added a ton of inspiration pictures for you guys for all the tiles we just discussed. If there is anything else that you would like to see, um, these are really kind of the tiles that we keep utilizing right now on the projects that we're working on and i think that's a really good kind of like summary of the top tr five kind of like trending tiles for or tile styles for 2024. if you guys have any other questions make sure to leave your comment below and we will get back to you and if you haven't done so make sure to subscribe to our channel we do nothing but talk about kitchen and bathroom remodeling and we actually want to incorporate a little bit more bathroom remodeling but we're you know really specialized in kitchen design and cabinetry but we're uh, working on a lot of new content for you guys to really inspire you and give you all the tips and tricks that you need for your own next kitchen and bathroom remodel again thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next week